What to do about our sewage? A question as old as civilization. And for centuries, and in many parts of the world, the answer has been, do nothing. And the spread of diseases like cholera, E. coli, and the smothering of our lakes and rivers has made it very clear that's not going to work. And so we created wastewater treatment facilities, enormous, impressive machines that clean our water. But they're costly, complicated, and out of reach for small communities and the developing world. All the while, we ignored a 500 million year old solution provided by nature, wetlands, AKA solar powered, self-maintaining, all natural water filtration systems. And just like the Brita filter in your fridge, wetlands take dirty water on one end and produce clean water out the other. It's safe for us and safe for the environment. So why aren't we using more wetlands to treat our sewage? Well, the problem is wetlands have limitations. They require shallow water or else the plants drown, which means if you want to treat a lot of sewage, and there's 7 billion people on the planet generating a lot of sewage, you need a very large wetland. And that amount of land could be too expensive or just impossible to obtain. So what's the solution? How can we get the treatment of a wetland combined with the sheer size of a wastewater treatment facility? Well, the answer is simple. You take that wetland and you make it float. Floating treatment wetlands provide a platform for plants that can be placed in any water body, no matter how deep. It allows the roots to extend directly into the water, allowing even greater treatment than a plant normally rooted in soil. These roots then become home to beneficial bacteria that are supercharged by oxygen and sugars provided by the roots. These supercharged bacteria can then break down contaminants and in many cases actually outperform the plants on which they live. And so my experiment aims to create miniature sewage ponds which we can expose these floating wetlands to real wastewater and measure the effects. After only one summer of data collection, the results already look pretty good. Take ammonia, for example, a common chemical in your cleaning cabinet, but a dangerous pollutant in our sewage. After only one month, these floating wetlands managed to cut ammonia concentration in half. And by the second month, the ammonia was practically gone. And as you can see from these images here, our plants are happy in their new environment. After only four months, we had significant growth. Floating wetlands are a very real solution to treating sewage in a world that's generating more sewage than ever before. Nature has provided us an environmentally friendly, effective means of treating our water that's available to everyone. And as my results show, all we need to do to help is give nature a little support. Thank you for listening.